Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer, and I'm um, growing out my beard in order to do my impression of Steve Shives, you know. I even got the Superman t-shirt. Woo! Um, anyway, normally I like to make videos that, you know, causes me to be extremely angry at times. Especially when it comes to feminists, because, holy shit, you, you should, like, see when I get really fucking angry. But today, I'm going to be the bearer of good news. <laughs> and this is from the BBC News Technology X, S, X, S, South by Southwest Festival. Rethink over Gamergate mistake. This is not my usual style, but I'm going to read from the article. Uh, feel free to pause the video and, and uh, you know, just open up a link to the article and you'll, you'll see the, the good news. The organizer of South by Southwest Festival have confirmed they will run an all-day event of the theme of online harassment after canceling two Gamer Game sessions. Panel sessions, sorry about that. One panel was about harassment in gaming, while the other was about integrity of journalism. The panel were cancelled following threats of violence. Both issues have been linked to a furor that sprang out of the controversial Gamergate campaign. Gamergate is the name of a campaign whose supporters allied that close ties between some video game journalists that and those who are in the gaming industry itself have given rise to conflict of interest. The movement became embroiled with a wider debate over claims of sexism in gaming and gave rise to violent threats be being posted online. However, gaming game supporters say they, they themselves were among the victims of abuse. The festival hopes that the new event will bring together representatives from both panels, but some say they have security concerns over the presence of Gamergate supporters. Organizers of the Level Up, Overcoming Harassment in Gamer Games panel are concerned about a single event hosting representatives of rival factions. Randy Harper said she would not confirm her odd attendance. A big shock. Um, while we fully support Gaming Game being part of the X South by South Southwest Gaming, adding them to the summit creates a safety concern for many people who are currently scheduled to be participating, she said. The organizers of South by Southwest have been criticized for canceling the or original events and have admitted to their decision was a mistake. By casting two sessions, we sent an unintended message that Southwest, South by Southwest not only tolerates online online harassment, but condones it. And for it, for that we are truly sorry, wrote Hugh Forrest, Interactive Festival Director. It's clear that online harassment is a problem that requires more than two panel discussions to, to address. Now, my apologies, brosters, if I didn't make the dramatic reading dramatic. But I think you get the picture. I'm delivering the good news. You know, I bet one of you right now are probably depressed, very sad in life. And you just need something to cheer you up. And then you saw my video and be like, thank you, Atheist Gamer. I needed this. I thank you for saving my life. I needed some good fucking news. That's right, Monday Math. I am doing your job. Who, who's the bearer of good news now? That's right. It's me. Right here. <laughs> However, before you get extremely hyped, um, the social justice warriors are also going to participate in Southwest, South by Southwest. I can't do this shit. I mean, ugh. South by Southwest. And you know what? That's fine. Because, quite frankly, this is an excellent opportunity to have two members of the group finally face each other and actually talk it out. You know, instead of actually hiding their faces behind a fucking laptop. But of course, the social justice warriors do not like it when Gamergate has a voice. They are really
really disappointed that Gamergate is speaking for themselves. How dare they have an opinion against us? These people have convinced themselves that so that Gamergate is no different from Nazism and that we shouldn't even allow hate speech onto the campus. Don't confuse hate speech with speech that I hate. And this one article from Salon made written by none other than Arthur Chu entitled Gamergate Rides Again Corporate Arrogance Just Turns S South by Southwest Big Tent into a three ring circus. I'm not gonna read all parts of the articles, but I'm gonna read this specific segment. This is unconsciously high-handed and arrogant. Nothing is solved with a day of just talking it out. And it's especially not solved by forcing a confrontation between victim and aggression and aggressors. I mean, victims of aggression and aggressors. Martin Luther King Jr. didn't fix Jim Crow by having a lively dialogue with vermin racists. In a corporate conference space designed to make profit for sponsors through clicks and ticket sales. Two years ago, when a distinguished wannabe messiah wanted to fix gender wars by enjoying feminists to show up and debate vicious male supremacists, feminists rightly gave her the finger and walked, walked away. You know, I find it rather funny that Arthur Chu is willing to compare Gamergate to the KKK, even though the KKK doesn't want to have a rational discussion. They just wanted to hate on black people, and as for Martha Luther King, I don't think there's anything to debate about. You know, there would be no point to debate against the KKK. They're just gonna hate on black people, and that's about it. But Gamergate has always been open to rational discussions. Gamergate, the members of Gamergate is willing to have a debate. Plenty of people on the Social Justice Warrior sites have actually tried to debate um, people like Sagan Makad, Skeptor, and uh, Teal Deer, uh, just, just to name a few. You know, we're the ones who are actually willing to have an open discussion, but none of these social, almost none of these social justice warriors are willing to have an open discussion. The only kind of open discussion they're willing to have is if the open discussion automatically agrees with them. In fact, the only group of people that are willing to debate in the social justice warrior side is those, you know, th that small group of people who pretty much circle jerk each other. You know, just pretty much fill themselves with complete crap. And half of those people are fucking gone. I'm talking about people like Sequester Zone. Um, what's his face? Hobbs Justice, Andrew Norton, um, Kevin Logan, Jenny McDermott, Bewilder Ape, uh, Zenistrad, um, Unworshipity. Just to name a few. Those are the only group of people that are willing to have a rational discussion with any member of Gamergate. And even then, their debating skills are absolutely fucking poor. So, this is pretty much the end of the video. Thank you for watching. This is my very really first video that I actually bring on some good news. And subscribe to my channel. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.